with Laptop Magazine and we are at the Digital Experience here at CES 2011 and we are at the NEC table to see this really cool Android tablet. This is a dual screen Android tablet and um, as we said on our blog when we first talked about this, we saw a lot of dual screen devices last year at CES, but we didn't see like very many that had the pure like dual screen thing going on. These are both LCD screens, um, 800 by 600 resolution, and this uh, device is called the Dual Screen Cloud Communicator. So right now we're in the ebook application, and what's really cool is, you know, it's just like other ebook applications, you get like a nice page turn effect, but you get two full pages, and because it's LCD, you get full color, this book is like color and black and white, and so you're able to see like how nice the screen is. Um, this screen is resistive, not capacitive, but it, um, it's actually a really responsive resistive screen. This is like the kind of like you know higher end resistive screen we really like. So uh, let's go back to the home screen just real quick. Um, so another one of the uh, applications I really like on this is uh, for students. So you got the lecture application where you know on one side you're going to see the actual lecture and video. And then on the other side, you've got text that goes along with the lecture. So this is the kind of device that would be really awesome for students because they'll be able to take advantage of enhanced e-books and be able to see, you know, like something on one screen, something on the other. And it feels more like a book, and so it'll be a little more natural to make that transition. Um, another thing you can do is you can draw on the screen because it has a stylus that comes with it. So let's pull that out. There we go. And uh, we'll go to folio because that's where uh, the drawing app is. So, as you can see, the stylus, uh, the screen is pretty responsive to the stylus, not seeing a lot of lag. And there's lots of different choices over here for like colors of the pen and stuff like that. And uh, this app has a lot of different features. Um, there's a map over here somewhere as well. Lots of pictures. You know, it's just pretty cool. Um, so uh, let's take a look just around the hardware a little bit. Let's stick this back in there. So as you can see, you know, like two screens, and over here we've got the home menu and back buttons. We've got a little jog wheel. And then uh, there we've got a micro USB port there, headphone jack, and the power port. And we'll close it up. You see on the back we've got the SDHC uh, card slot. We open the little door here. And uh, volume buttons and power button. And there's a camera on the back. How many megapixels is the camera? Three. Three megapixel camera. And then right here again is the, uh, the stylus port. And we've got USB port here on the top. And um, this is a, the, the screen is seven inches. Each screen is seven inches. So, you know, it's a pretty, like, nice, compact, uh, uh, maybe a tiny bit larger than the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab in terms of uh, height and uh, uh, width. Um, but, you know, just a nice, compact, can fit into your bag, can maybe fit into your uh, pocket if you have a big one. Uh, so this is pretty nice. So um, this device is running Android. Is it running Android 2.2 right now or 2.1? 2.1. 2 2.1 right now. And uh, it's only coming out in Japan at the moment, but NEC is considering bringing this to the U.S. So what can we do to make sure that they do bring this to the U.S.? We have to clamor for it. So clamor away, because uh, this is actually a really neat little device. Um, it's going to cost, uh, the, I don't know what it is in yen, but the, uh, the conversion is about $500 uh, to U.S. dollars, the price that they're selling it for in Japan. So, you know, $200 device maybe, or $500 device maybe when it comes to US or maybe a little less because stuff when it comes here it costs a little less. If we can get something like this around $300 that would be a sweet sweet machine. So here's hoping. Anyway this is KT Bradford Laptop Magazine taking a look at the NEC dual screen cloud communicator.